Any updates as far as health of players goes? Saw Jalen walking around with some crutches. Any update on him? Yeah, light hamstring. Um, I think it was yesterday. So he's day to day. Should be nothing, nothing real long term. Wasn't real severe. We've got a few guys like that day to day. Nixon bruises, some with precautions. Um, you know, like Jordan Whitley's concussion protocol um, is more than halfway through that. So typical camp stuff. So is there, seeing a lot of Addison Gums in the, in the last two, three days camp here, is, what have you just kind of seen out of him? Obviously the physical is apparent, but what have you seen out of him from, from a schematic perspective, how much he's kind of interpreting yeah. which guys are teaching him? Yeah, I think uh, pass rush stands out first and foremost. Like he can rush the passer. Um, he's still, uh, you know, we eased him into it first couple of practice and then in the last few he's, he's gotten a ton of turns and, and that's what we kind of expected from him. I really look at it, our whole outside backer group. Again, Tago, the way he's rushing the passer compared to what he was doing last year has taken a huge upgrade. Any closer with Trevon and David Morris returning in the field? No, nah, Bradford's at least another week or so. Um, Any setback there or just no. more being precautious? Yeah, yeah, that's been uh, kind of what we thought the whole time after after the injury. Uh, Morris-wise, I, you know, he, he's doing a little bit more, you know, in, in regards to the rehab, actually being able to move. I think he's getting into 20-yard sprint, so he's getting closer. It's not going to be tomorrow. But uh, I'm optimistic about next, maybe into next week. Seemed like Jake and Tajon had a good connection today. Can you just kind of talk about that during the seven on seven, eleven on eleven? Yeah, Tajon, uh, he's having a really good camp. Um, you know, he did some good things spring, missed uh, practices in the spring. He's been healthy out here. You can see his comfort level within the scheme. I do think the timing's there, not just with with Luton and with Tristan also, uh, and he, uh, he he's dynamic. You know, DJ a little bit of reps with the ones, obviously. You know, Baylor. Jamar, yeah, obviously yeah. Jamar is just you know saving him a little bit, keeping him healthy uh, at this point in camp. But I mean, what do you see out of him when he is going and, and working with the ones the way he he's has? Had, yeah, he's had some good runs um, in the in the run game. Really, the last really this week he stood out. Uh, he's earned those reps. Like the way he's going, he's good in protection. Uh, he's a physical. And nice that you know you need to have a few backs, and so all those guys getting reps is beneficial. Does it look like something where there might be some additional malice to feed? I mean, you got the committee already with Jamar and AP, but is BJ hopefully, kind of yeah. working into that yeah, room? Hopefully. I mean, like I said, you like to like to have a few of them to keep those guys healthy. And uh, you want competition in each room, and I think we got in that running back room. Just going back to Addison real quick, what are some things that he, he needs to work on in these next couple of weeks if he wants to see the field? He's been working a lot with the twos, but to get him up to that spot where he's working Yeah, he's getting ones. a ton of reps. I mean, he's working in – all of us want to improve all our, all our games. I think that uh, he's got a skill set. And the way he's working, he's going to be just fine. I think it was early in the 11 on 11 work. The defense got like a fourth and one or fourth and two stop. You know, definitely saw their positive emotions. How much does that build their confidence to know that now, you know, they have the depth, the bodies to be able to stop people in that fourth and short situation? Yeah, I think they're playing with some confidence. You know, I just look at the, the whole camp in general, the first week and a half here, it's been some back and forth. You know, defense getting some stops, offense making some plays, which you, that's what you want it to look like. Um, and so that that group is playing with some energy. Uh, we got to be able to consistently do it day after day, um, and we're working to do that. You guys feel pretty solid about maybe the depth chart one, two, and, and most of the positions. Are you still trying to work some different combinations to see what it looks like? Yeah, there's still some, you know, I just across the board. There's uh, there's some competition going on. There's nothing set ones and twos because um, you'll see some flux of different guys getting in terms of the ones or the twos. Um, the also the thing we got some young young guys that you know now they've been a week or so in the camp. You never know where they're gonna gonna head and they're gonna continue getting other chances at it this next week. What about a week in the books? You know, the August thirtieth is getting closer and closer. What's what's yeah. the look? For you guys as coaches going into this weekend as far as evaluation of players goes and then what's next week going to hold for some of these guys yeah you know i think you always evaluate in every practice um majority of situations will be in like today was our first time doing two minute and so you get into next week some of that situational stuff will be installed and so now it's truly how much have they absorbed of all that um, and you'll continue to evaluate and see who continues to improve